The question six is to find the products and quotients of complex numbers in polar form. Now, first thing, let's understand the formulas. If there are two complex numbers given in polar form, they'll be in terms like this. R1 cos theta 1 plus I sine theta 1. And imagine the next one is R2 cos theta 2 plus I sine theta 2. You can multiply them both. Okay, Z1 and Z2 can be multiplied by this formula. Here the radiuses are multiplied to each other and the angles in theta, you know, the theta angle, right? The first one is added to the second one and over here first one is added to the second one in the imaginary part as well. The sine theta is for the imaginary part whereas cos theta is the real part. This is the formula. You need to memorize this one. The quotient is simple. It's just divided, R1 divided by R2, and instead of plus over here, we have minus. So if you're thorough with one formula, the other one is very simple to relate it. So here it was multiplication, multiplication, division, division. Multiplication is related to addition, division is to subtraction. Now let's solve some problems. Here we have a problem where we need to find the product in the rectangular form. So we need to find the product that is multiply them. Should remember the formula. Over here is the formula. All you do is multiply 2 times 4 here. And what about theta? Add them up. 5 pi by 3 plus pi by 6. Same thing over here with the imaginary part. Put it in the calculator. You get this as the answer. Let us do it in the calculator. Once the polar form is done, over here if you are thinking how to solve this up, just write it as it is. 5 pi by 3 plus pi by 6. Over here, it's pi divided by 6. The theta for both the things, see over here, the cos and sine will be same, cos and sine is same. So if you do once, it's enough. This is the answer for both. But what about this part, like conversion to rectangular form? It is very simple. All you need to do is type the imaginary, imaginary and real parts separately. What I mean is multiply this 8 over here and over here. For the first thing, it will be 8 times cos... What is theta? It's 11 pi, that is shift and over here, by 6. Now make sure your calculator is in the radian mode, that is shift mode and 4. If it's not already in radian mode, please convert to radian mode. Press equal to, this is the answer. You can see the first part, 4 root 3. You can directly jump to the answer because this is MCQ question. And now only change this to sine. And that is the other answer. That is the imaginary part. But here you should add I. That's the only thing. Now let's do other problems. See the polar form is given over here. The rectangular form is given over here. Same thing over here. We need to do it in polar and rectangular form. Important to write the formula and then solve it up. Even if you know it in your mind, that's enough then. Because you can directly do it in the calculator. Radius 1 times radius 2. Multiplied with cos theta is first, theta 1 plus theta 2. And over here, remember it's plus sine theta 1, theta 2. You should add them as well. That's the formula. Now over here it will be 6 times 4, that's 24. And over here it will be cos pi by 2 plus pi by 4. And over here we will have plus sine. Okay, I forgot to write the i. I sine again pi by 2 plus pi by 4 and that's the answer. So we will be 24 and we have cos. Now this is half pi, this is 1 fourth, it will be 3 fourth pi. You can directly write it 3 by 4 pi or 3 pi by 4 plus I sine 3 pi by 4. This is the polar form. But we need the rectangular form, right? So your answer will not be in this form, it will be in rectangular form. So we need to have our calculators with us. Now what you need to do is type this out 24 times. What is this? Cos 3 pi by 4. So 3 by 4 pi is also the same thing or 3 pi by 4 is the same. So what is this answer? It's negative 12 root 2. Same thing, just change this cos to sine over here. Just delete this and put sine. You get the answer 12 root 2 as well. So the answer is negative 12 root 2 and positive 12 root 2. But the positive part as I over here. Why? Because it was the imaginary part. Simple as that. 
and over here please do it by yourselves only difference is this is in degrees now what would you do if it is in degrees clear your calculator that is shift 9 3 equal AC now it's cleared and it's in default mode of degrees now radians doesn't work so we here first thing is multiplying 5 times 2 it's 10 now what about this adding the degrees right I'll do the first part or uh, you know the real part directly it'll be 10 times cos 135 plus 45 close the bracket so this will be the answer it's negative 10 you can see the final answer now what about the imaginary part only thing is over here you need to change this cosine to sine and guess what it's zero so multi zero multiplied with you know imaginary is always zero so here you get only 10 that is only the imagine real part is there imaginary part is zero doesn't uh, it's not required to be written now we have division so let's do this problem same concept but the formula is different it is r1 by r2 over here we have cosine theta 1 minus theta 2 and over here it's plus between them i sine theta 1 minus theta 2 so this is the formula now we will substitute we need to divide what this is become this becomes r1 theta 1 theta 1 the division part divisor becomes r2 theta 2 theta 2 so r1 is 3 divided by half i'll write 0 0.5 or you can write 1 by 2 and that goes up anyways the answer will be 6 over here what about cos theta 1 it's 3 pi by 4 plus sorry it's not plus it's minus my bad minus pi plus i sine same thing 3 pi by 4 minus pi and what's happening over here this is 3 divided by 0 0.56 we have cosine now what is 3 fourth pi minus pi it will be negative pi by 4 or 1 fourth pi okay plus i sine again the same thing negative pi by 4 that's it now over here this is the polar form but we do not need this what do we want we need the rectangular form so we just use the calculator and solve this now over here we type this as it is 10 cosine negative pi by 4 that is minus pi by 4 i remember i changed this back to degree mode see i will show you the difference now we have, this is the answer 9.99 but now shift mode and 4 will give me an entirely different value it's 5 root uh, 5 root 3 sorry it's not 10 my bad it's 6 okay over here this is the answer 3 root 3 3 root 2 now that will be the first part of the answer you can see now what about the other one just change this to sine from cosine it becomes sine and the answer is negative 3 root 2 that will have i imaginary part so you can see this is the polar form and the rectangular form is over here so this is how easily you can solve all the problems over here here again it's multiplication we did a similar problem here is the worked out solution now here what happens is when the imaginary part becomes zero that part is not written you don't write four plus zero zero i is zero itself so only four is written here also you can work it out by yourselves now this part what happens over here is the first part real part is zero only imaginary part remains i will show you you can just put this in the calculator I've typed this over here in the question, the real part, and the answer is zero. So here we don't write that. Only the other part, the imaginary part is written. Remove this and make it sign. And what's the answer? Negative 3 by 4. And don't forget the i. So this is how we solve all these problems. Again, over here, similar one, but it's division. So remember, use the formula appropriately and solve it up. Same thing over here look at the question if it's in degrees make sure you clear your calculator or you can press shift more than three that is degrees otherwise if it's in radians that's like pi you have to keep the mode in radian and solve it up if you don't use radian mode your answer will be wrong over here there are similar problems and last problem here it's about division and that's the answers they're easy problems make sure you practice them and please be Thorough with the formula which is very very important.